Hey, welcome to this walkthrough video that we've created for you. You know, we're really excited to be gathering together again on Sunday. You know, the Restart team and leadership team have been working really hard to create a safe yet unrestricted environment for you. Now, as we gather together, things are going to look a little bit different. So this video will help you to understand how things will look on Sunday. So please take time to watch it. Now, I realize that, that some people don't feel comfortable in coming, um, and that's okay. You, know, you can still tune in with us on the live stream and worship with us on Sunday morning. Now, it may sound funny for a preacher to encourage people to stay at home, but there are a few, few reasons why you should stay at home. If you're elderly, have health issues, then consider worshiping with us at home. Now, if you are sick or have been with someone that, that has been sick, we're going to ask you to please stay at home. You know, being responsible in this way is one of the ways that, that you can show your love for each other. Again, I look forward to seeing you again on Sunday. Hey, we're excited about meeting again this coming Sunday at Fairlawn Church. Uh, now things are going to look a little bit different, so we're going to do a walkthrough with you to give you an idea of how it's going to look when you get here. And as you heard last week, there were many of us that gathered together in the sanctuary as part of a team um, to just see how things go and to give you uh, the best method of getting in the church and being able to worship and focus on your, your worship and, and really give your worship to, to God in this time instead of worried about if you're doing things right or wrong. And so that's the purpose of this video as we do this walkthrough. As you notice, the doors, as you come up to the building, the doors will be open so you don't have to touch any door handles. Um, also, reserve your seats beforehand. Go online at Fairlawn. Just type in fmcapplecreek.com to go to our website, or you can just Google Fairlawn Mennonite Church. Once you get to our website, you'll see this big banner right here. This is back together again with the date of our service. For this Sunday, it's May 24th with the three service times. Reservation required, click here. So we click here and it is required to come to our services um, to have a reservation so we can keep the right social distancing for each service. Um, if you wanna to go to the eight o'clock service, that'll show up first. If you wanna to go to the 9.30, just keep scrolling down and then to the 11 o'clock, scroll to the bottom of that page. You can type in right here. Once you find the service you wanna to go to, type in the quantity, uh, seven for my family, um, and then you click next. That'll take you to a place to put in your first name and then also your last name. And then you can put your email address into this. Um, I'm just gonna do an autofill there, but you put your email address in and then you push register. Um, after you click register, you'll get a little uh, note that says your reservation has been received. And then also you'll receive an email with your reservation on it. You don't need to come with proof of your reservation um, when you show up at the doors on Sunday morning, um, but we do need everyone to make a reservation so that we don't have too many people in a service. And our hope was to, to, to create a, a safe and yet friendly environment when you walk in. So when you get in here, you're going to see our, our, our greeters and then our ushers. And, and we're asking that you get here about 10 minutes before the service begins. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that the greeters are not standing out front here. They are behind these um, kind of the stanchions with the sneeze guards. And that's simply to help you feel safe and comfortable. And it's also um, our first reaction is to give a big hug and a, and a handshake. And that's also to help us to remember that that's just not what we're looking to do right now is to give handshakes and hugs. We're going to focus on smiles and waves. There will not be any coffee, any children's um, activities, the nurseries will not be open, and there will be no bulletins. There is, however, in the family room, a masked service. Um, so if you want a mask only service, that is going to be happening back in the children's large group room in the family room. And we also ask that the bathrooms are um, only be used by those wearing masks in the children's wing. The bathrooms over here are still gonna be open for anybody else, um, but the ones over there, we're gonna keep that wing just for people who are looking for a place to only have masks around. So as you move into the sanctuary, you're gonna find hand sanitizer that, that we're gonna ask you to use. And so um, you, you get your sanitizer and then you step to the door and, and you wait for the ushers to seat you. 
and they'll be seating you in family units uh, when you get here. Now, one thing that we probably should point out too is if you are wearing a mask and you still want to be in this room with everybody else, that's totally fine too. And you would just make your way in like everyone else. We have ushers who will be seating you. Go to the outer ends and look for them to direct you to the rows. We have every other row marked off. Um, and so they will be putting you in rows. And we ask that there be three seats between each family unit. The service is going to last approximately one hour. And so when the service is over, we're going to ask you to either to act, exit out the rear, um, and there are offering baskets here for you to place your offering in um, as you move out into the, the foyer area. As we've gone over, there are a lot of new things going on, and that can feel stressful or that can feel kind of overwhelming. And, and our goal here with the video is to help you not feel that way, but then also to understand that once you get in here, don't worry about which row you're gonna sit in or what side. Um, the ushers will tell you where to sit and you sit with your family that you live with and spend time with and then you just have three seats between your family and the next one. And then you can spend your time uh, worshiping just like you do every other Sunday, enjoying a great message and uh, uh, music set. Exit immediately out through the rear doors or also to the west side of the sanctuary and out that corridor. Um, we ask that if you are exiting out the back that you either do exit immediately, keep this tiled area clear, or if you want to fellowship with people you haven't seen for a while, that you go to the east side of the building, um, on the carpeted area or on the tile. If you are going to stand and, and socialize, we ask that you keep six feet distance while you're socializing, and then when you are done socializing here, that you exit through the cafe doors. And in working with the Wayne County Health Department, they have recommended that we turn off all drinking fountains. So if you need some water, please remember to bring your own. The restrooms will still be open over on this side if you need to use the restroom. Obviously, um, as we said before, there's no cafe. So if you need your own coffee, you can bring that. And then this is the area that we're going to ask you to fellowship in. As you can tell, we've, we've taken out the tables and chairs so that there is more room for you to, to fellowship in, still practicing good six foot social distancing. And then if you're over here, we ask you to exit out through the cafe doors. If we're trying to do the right thing, so that way at the end of the day, we can say, I'm so glad that Farallon's doors are back open, but we also can sleep at night knowing we've done everything uh, humanly possible to make sure this is a safe and loving environment for anybody on either end of the spectrum of how they feel about this whole coronavirus situation. We can't wait to see you Sunday!